All right. Hello, Sunridge parents and Eaglets as well. Maybe you're helping your parents out. I think that's fantastic. So parents, we are used to having our first day forms go home at the beginning of each school year. And obviously this school year looks a little bit different. So what we have done is taken those technology, media, uh, and information consent forms and digitized that process for you. So whether your student is participating in Launch Ed at home or the face-to-face -face instructional model, you are able to submit these forms in this digital fashion. Um, if you are here face-to-face, -face, we are sending a paper copy home as well. However, the digital method is a little bit easier. So I've created this video for you to kind of walk you through the process. That way you can pause and stop and go as you need. Uh, but it, my goal is to make it as simple as possible. So if you can go ahead and open Launchpad, which you should be very familiar with at this point, students, feel free to help your parents out with this. We have Launchpad and we are going to sign in. And then we are going to go to Canvas, which we're very familiar with. So what I've done for you on Canvas is you should see an announcement as soon as you log in, okay? And that's going to house all of these forms and the form in which we're submitting those completed forms. So parents and students, we're going to click here and that's going to take us to the place where we're going to download, sign and submit our parent technology, media and information consent forms. Now, you will notice when we click here, that takes us to a survey that has the forms already linked for you. But if you'd like to look through them beforehand, they are also linked here as well. Okay, going back to the survey, currently we only have the English and Spanish uh, versions of these forms electronically. We do have some other translations available in paper format. So if you need those, feel free to reach out to your child's teacher and we'll make sure to get you a copy of that. So walking through the process, this survey is not only where we're going to get these forms, but we're also going to submit them at the end. But before we submit, we need to fill them out. So I'm going to pretend that I need these English forms. So I'm going to click on that link and that opens up the forms in a fillable PDF. And parents, this is where it comes super handy for you. All we need to do is type in our information. So as of right now, I am my own parent. Thanks mom and dad. And I'm just going to go through and fill out the information. Right now I'm putting the school information. You would obviously want to put your own personal information for your residents in there. Okay. You'll notice it auto populates the date, which is fantastic. And your student number, which is your 480 number. So the students know that that's how they log into Launchpad onto the computer. Um, I don't have a 480 number, so I will make one up. And I believe it needs to be 10 digits before it will allow you to move on to the next page. And it was, so it let me move on. The second page, parents, again, feel free to read through it, uh, but students, we are making sure that we're reading this, understanding it. We have all of our purposes for technology, what we're utilizing it for. Oh, 
going to click next. Up at the top, you'll see previous and next. We click next to go on to the next one. And then here, parents, we are um, consenting to use of social media platforms, and that's for the high school only. So that doesn't apply to you. So then we'll fill out the signature along with everything else that goes on this page. We'll read this next page. It auto populates the name. And then you're either agreeing to consent or do not agree. So it's very important that you make sure that you are confident in which method you are selecting, whether it's agree or you do not agree. We go on to that next page. Again, reading through it. Take the time to do that. Um, this is the release of directory information, which is described above. So feel free to pause this video and read through that. And once you have all five pages, page five of five, you'll notice, once you have those all filled out, what you can do, very simple, we're going to click download and we're going to click download again. Okay. Now, we're going to go back to our Google form and we're going to fill it out with our information one more time. I act like a kindergartner, so we'll click that. I am my own parent most days. And then here's the last step, okay? Under completed forms, we're going to click add file. And when you click download, it should have brought it to a download menu down here, a toolbar. All you need to do is click, drag, and let it go and then click Upload, and then finally Submit. Once it goes through, you should see a confirmation message. Thank you, your forms have been received. Parents, if you do have multiple students, you're going to complete that same process uh, for each student. If for some reason, um, you aren't able to see the Canvas announcement. The website will be posted on our social media, but the website for that survey is going to be bit.ly slash sre parent forms. Okay, and if you go ahead and click enter on that, it will take you to the exact same place. So a couple of different ways to get there, but that's the process of downloading the forms and getting them submitted again at the bottom of this Google form. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Uh, but the goal is, again, to make this as easy a process as possible. Thank you so much.